we've seen the squad earlier today, and I wouldn't expect you to tell us who's playing in the centres on Thursday, unless you actually do want to tell us. But um, just give us an insight into the how much of a quandary that those positions have been for you heading into this first game. I wouldn't say quandary. I'd say uh, opportunity through the preseason to to get guys some exposure uh, through practice and and some of the matches. And uh, yeah, I think what we see in round one might not be what we see in you know, three, four, five, 20 weeks time. You know, I think there's some versatility in our squad, which I'm excited about. Did you know straight away which two you were going to play in the centres or have you done a bit of swapping around in your mind? This week, I've been pretty, pretty settled, yeah. What about Harry and Nene then? Are they on track? Are they, you know, progressing as you'd like? And when might you expect at this point in time to see those two guys back in their rightful positions? Uh, they've still got a bit to do and... Uh, they're, they're trending in the right direction and they're on track and you know as I've said previously as well sometimes at the back end of these long-term rehabs it's it's hard to be exactly specific of the, the return uh, but they're, they're reaching milestones and progressing um, you know and I think as far as everyone wants me to say that Nene is going to play centre when he's back that you know Nene is a winger or a centre so we'll, we'll worry about that um, but this, mu- this week is very much about who is playing what about the rest of the side? Then let's leave the centres out of it. Has the rest of the side been pretty more um, straightforward in terms of selection? Oh, a lot of competition and a lot of um, a lot of things to consider in our forward pack. There's been a lot of good performers um, in the in the stints that they've had through the preseason, and and also not to you know discard what people have done in in the past as well. So. Uh, some some decisions have, have been difficult there. What's James Bentley's injury and what's the prognosis regarding him at the moment? Uh, James had a, a uh, PCL injury to his knee. Uh, and those ones are a little awkward at times from my experience in, in the game. Uh, watching guys recover from them, they, they don't tend to go in a straight line um, as far as their recovery goes as much as some other injuries. So there's a few things there but he's progressed really well in the last uh, week or two and and done some good running but he's, he's got a bit to do yet given the fact you could have a number of new faces on show on Thursday how fluid would you expect that first performance to be oh, as a coach we're always hopeful it's going to be fluid um, but I also understand rugby league's not a a game of being pretty all the time um, being able to grind it and work hard and battle is equally as important as as being fluent and and flowing so you know we're hoping to have a good blend of that um but but number one we've got to compete and we've got to uh we've got to be physical first time obviously you've been here ahead of this first game of the season what just can you give us an insight into your emotions right now i would say i have almost no emotions other than today was a good session and i'm looking forward to tomorrow um i think you know me as a coach is it's important to to just be the same um each day and the players um you know if they there's no point being emotional today either um it's managing those emotions and and pointing it in the right direction um you know i'm excited by the season ahead when i stop and reflect but uh, unless i stop and reflect like you just asked me to do uh, i'm I'm not emotional at all what what sort of a handle can you have on on what warrington might be like on thursday then uh, I think preseason, you know, performances, um, most don't show all their cards um, either by selections or, or by tactics and teams don't generally game plan too much. They're just getting out there and doing what their their standard sort of footy is. So, you know, I'm sure there'll be some things there that we haven't seen um, in their match against Lee, but also, you know, we do know the tendencies of most of their key players have been you know, in Super League or the NRL for a long time. So we're aware of the threats that they pose and there's plenty of them. And I expect them to be, you know, raring to get their their season started just just like we are. Will there be some things from Leeds that Warrington haven't seen before? Uh, Hopefully we'll complete a few more sets. So, uh, you know, if Daryl watched our our last game, um, you know, I don't think we showed too much with the ball. Um, If we, yeah, we get into into it to to some end-to-end footy. You know, I think that's that's really the... um, our biggest ambition. Just lastly for me, Rowan, how important is this? It's a long season and you've proved that it's not all about what happens at the start, but how important is this first game, do you feel? Yeah, round, round one's important. It's a good opportunity to to uh, get out there and battle and it helps you to prepare for round two. Um, two competition points is huge to get started, uh, but also 
you know, it's one of many in a, in a marathon. So, um, yeah, it's very important to us, but it's, uh, it's not a grand final either. You said after OKR a couple of weeks ago that you, you weren't close to knowing your team for, um, for round one. Has it been a, an easier decision over the past couple of, um, couple of weeks? I don't think any decisions are easy when you, you know, you, you're uh, trying to select out of people that are um, ready and, and able, um, but that's, that's the job as a coach. So it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. Um, and I don't think it gets easier, but yeah, we, we've just tried to pick the, pick the team that's going to um, do us best for round one. Do you think you've got more options this year than you had last year? Uh, I haven't reflected on you know, comparing our squad this year to last year, but, you know, we certainly do have versatility uh, and we, we do have depth, even though we're, we're missing four or five, you know, starting players to, to kick off round one. Um, you know, I still feel we're, we're fielding a very strong team. You mentioned early on in, um, in pre-season that Lewis Roberts and, and um, Ruan were both projects and you sort of didn't expect them to be playing regular Super League rugby for a while. They're both in the, the squad for this week. Have they surprised you? The the development they've um, they've made over over preseason? Uh, surprised is probably not the right word, but uh, they have progressed at a at a rate that um, has seen reward in, in how they've performed and and selection in that 21 man squad for for round one is a good accolade for those those kids. Um, I, I very much believe they are projects, um, but they're also not too far away from being ready to play play some part in Super League. But as I've stated previously, it's it's a lot different to being able to play every week. Um, so those kids have done well, and uh, you know I've I've pat them on the back by you know this little accolade for them.